this. Right, this is a Kendama. Now to you, it may just be pixels on a screen, but to me, it's a wooden toy that I can touch and feel, and most importantly, flip. But what if I told you that there was a way, theoretically, for me to flip this Kendama that when brought within the confines of our reality, becomes physically impossible, impossible, impossible. Hey, hi, hello, how's it going? Hope you're fantastic. I am a little bit excited and a little bit frustrated because I just found out about a Kendama trick that is literally impossible to do. And that is due to a little, little thing called the tennis racket theorem, which I will quickly let uh, Veritasium explain to you. And I don't think he's Italian, but here's the tennis racket theorem. The paper says if you hold a tennis racket facing you and then flip it in the air like this, it not only rotates the way you intend it to, it also makes a half turn around an axis that passes through its handle. There are three ways to spin a tennis racket about its three principal axes. The first is about an axis that runs through the handle, like this. The second is the way we were spinning it before with an axis that runs parallel to the head of the racket. And the third is about an axis that runs perpendicular to the head of the racket. It's easiest to spin the racket around this first axis, and spinning about the third axis has the greatest moment of inertia. What you'll notice with spins about these axes is that they're stable. There's no rotation happening about any of the other axes, but rotating about the second axis, the intermediate axis, where the moment of inertia is in between the other two, well, that is where you get this half twist. And there's virtually nothing you can do to stop it. And it's not just tennis rackets, of course. I've done this before with cell phones and with a disc with a hole in it. Imagine we have rotating bodies. No. The end of the world. No. A wing nut. No. The Ken Dom. We can take that now and break it down into the world of Kendama. We obviously have plenty of tricks that use this axis. You know, the most natural way that you flip a tennis racket. Also, seemingly the most natural way to flip a Ken. You know, we do juggles, whoop, not like that. We do juggles that flip the Ken on this axis. We also do like whirlwinds, use that same axis and a whole bunch of other tricks, late Ken flips, etc. We also have a couple tricks that take advantage of the this axis, the, the one that spins nice and fast. Maybe like a lunar tray flip that I can't do makes use of this set of rotation as well as the, the this way. But also a trick that makes it a bit more obvious, the, the flying top upside down. You sometimes see tricks like this, like this. <laughs> that take advantage of that short spinning axis, but you never ever ever see any tricks that take advantage of a flip around this This axis because it's impossible. So look, we could try to integrate that into a juggle where you know, we would want to flip perfectly this way, but go for that juggle oh, up. Doesn't seem to work. We could do the same with a whirlwind. So the cup facing you I want to spin it, you know, this way, along that impossible axis. It, it just doesn't work. It twists around just as it was shown. So I guess I'll call this like the frying pan flip. It is simply impossible, but wouldn't it look so cool like if you do a Ken flip trick when you have the Ken like spinning nice and fast like that, it would look really impressive to have that big cup facing you and then you would just see like, you would just see this as the Ken flip goes around. That would be super cool to see, but unfortunately we'll never see it because it's physically impossible. So go and try it. This was like super bonkers for me to try out and that one kind of worked. I was gonna say, you might be able to, if you go like slow and easy and kind of do this technique where you kind of just push down the Ken with your thumb to spin it around that axis, you might be able to get one and then you might go in the comments and Ch -ch 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 -ch. this isn't physically impossible because I just did it. Well, in that case, you want a Ken trick that's physically impossible, do the double frying pan flip because that one definitely does not work. Ah, oh, it just twists! <laughs> this is crazy. Kendama trick that you should go try, but you'll never be able to do the impossible.
trick, the frying pan flip or the double frying pan flip for those with a lot of patience. All right, that's all. Goodbye. So amazing, impossible, incredible, red shirt, impossible.